I am Iazalea from toleratedcinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create the transitions and the text effects from Game of Thrones just like you saw in the preview. So let's open up After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and if we preview this file, we can see the transitions and the text effects. So the first thing that I will do is put this into a folder here. And okay, so imagine that this is a new project file. We will create a new composition main comp and make it full HD, uh, 30 FPS. Uh, or whatever you prefer and then I will go for 300 frames if you see seconds over here You can just uh, enter 10 seconds 300 frames and 30 frames per second means uh, 10 seconds. So click OK First thing I'll do is create a new solid and name this background and make the background color black and click OK then I will right click new text effect here and we are going to enter something so whatever you want Tutorial by and as you can see right here. I already have the font and the text effects here So what they do is one high caps and then when the rest of the text in small caps to do that I will select my text uh, choose my font. I use bell MT um, and then I also uh, Checked this here so small caps, but if you use like caps you will still have like the large uh, caps here and if you just enter whatever text, it will be in small caps. So that um, way you get this effect that the first letter is bigger than the other letters of your uh, text here. Okay, so now we have this text here. We will choose the selection tool, click on the text and press Ctrl D to duplicate that text. Now we can move it below uh, the tutorial by and then hold Ctrl, press T on the keyboard and that way we can edit this text as well. Uh, by Isalea, uh, whatever you want to enter here and then you can just move it up a little bit because as you can see in the uh, series they also like uh, move it like to the side it's not perfectly centered and that's giving it a cool style I guess okay so now we have two texts here uh, what you can do is already pre-compose this uh, into a title 01 here Okay, so now we have our text in a composition. We will go to effects. Uh, we can either choose uh, generate fill or if you want to go a little step further, you can use the gradient ramp and that way we can style it a little bit a little bit more. So we'll uh, click on this uh, cross here and put it right over here. And then for the second one, put it right over here. So now we have like a, a small gradient over our text. And it looks like this and now it's up to choosing the color. So uh, I will choose like a golden color Something like this here click OK and then here I will choose like a more saturated color of that uh, same Color style so here we go and now I have some kind of golden text here So to give it some style and perspective like you can see in the series um, I will choose the title effect here, uh, well the title layer, go to effects perspective and choose bevel alpha. Okay, there we go. And now I will change the light intensity to the maximum, so that's like one here. And then we can play around with the thickness, um, that's something around here that should work fine. Uh, and then you can just toggle this down until you see whatever you prefer. And there we go, you can also change the angle of the light, uh, something like this is cool that it comes like from the top, like a rim light here, so that's cool. And now we are actually done and the series they don't use any kind of textures, but you can texture something so you can like go here, import a texture file. So like right here, I have an iron texture. I'll import that and put it over here. And then you can, for example, uh, use an overlay or something. Um, a soft light and if you scale it down, you will see, if you zoom in, you will see some details here. And you can also go here to effects, color correction, curves and add some contrast in there. Okay. 
something like this and that way you get some kind of texture in your text you can see it here so that also gives it some more depth I guess so you can also toggle down the opacity by pressing T on the keyboard while selecting this layer and then you will um, be able to change the opacity to something like a little bit less so it's not that obvious okay so once you have done that we have our text we can again pre-compose this so title effects for example and okay uh, we should click on the toggle switches and select this here so it takes the same modes and blending modes that it used in the composition so now we are actually seeing the exact same uh, same thing so that's basically it okay so once you have done that create a new composition um, and rename this to transition effect also uh, doesn't matter how long it should be and then click OK and then I will go over here right click new solid and rename this to fractal noise fractal noise okay so here we have our fractal noise go to effects and presets if you don't see that go to window effects and presets and we are going to search for fractal noise drag this onto our solid here and now we can see uh, the fractal noise right over here I will change the fractal type to uh, dynamic progressive I will uh, take the complexity down to 4 and add some more contrast like so and then I will also darken it like until I only see black and black means that nothing will be shown and white means that it's going to be shown so press U on the keyboard click on the keyframe for the brightness at minus 200 here and then move ahead like one second which is 30 fps uh, so 30 frames is one second and then we're going to change it to all white yeah uh, well the other way just enough there we go and now we have a nice transition of black going white and what you can do is go to transform and play with the scale so if you want it to be like more uh, detailed uh, scale it down scale it up if you want less details I think 100 will do fine uh, let's see how that works so go to the main comp again we will see our title effects here go to the project manager and choose your transition effect and drag that on top of your title effect and now if we're going to toggle the switches until we see the track mat here uh, if we change this here from the text effects if we change it to luma mat it's going to pick the whites to be visible and the white and the blacks to be yeah uh, invisible okay so uh, if we choose this and we're going to scrub you're going to see that the text is going to be shown right here and right now we can see that there is still something with the background to solve this uh, we will not choose uh, this effect here so it doesn't copy the same effects from in the composition here but if we open it up what we can do is duplicate our title and toggle the switches and drag this tile on top of our uh, iron texture and click on the track mat here alpha mat and what that will do is choose the alpha of the text so it will look at whatever is visible and take that as a uh, mask for the iron texture so now if we toggle it on and off it's still in our text but we don't have the edges anymore so if we're going back to our main comp it's not going to be visible again uh, that was my problem I uh, didn't think of it uh, before starting to do this effect um, but this is how you solve it so uh, you shouldn't uh, choose this here and you just should go in here duplicate the text and make this as a mask okay so um, we have our title right here and the transition effect and if we're going to look and play this back you can see it's already a cool way of revealing itself you can see it's very soft on the edges if you are uh, if you want to harden that you can go through transition effect and just up the contrast so go to effects controls for the fractal noise and just increase the contrast and if we're going back you will see that now we have very hard edges and this is actually a very cool way to reveal text of course if you increase the contrast it may be possible that it's also going to change the brightness a bit so just uh, take this down again all the way there we go a little bit more go to the end and make it all white again okay and now if we're going to play this back we have an effect like this which is very cool it's kind of like ink revealing our title and yeah that's basically it what you can do is go to the transition effect select both of your keyframes right click 
keyframe assistant easy ease what that will do is start slowly go faster and end slowly again so that's going to make it a little bit smoother okay so that's just basically how to um, make this effect if you want your text to disappear again move a little bit further in your transition effects composition click on this um, yeah diamond here and then move again one second averagely and then copy the first frame or just uh, toggle this down again right click copy well I'm just going to control C it control V and then we have the white going black again and that's going to do the same in our main composition text appears and text disappears and then it's just up to you to just um, well copy the uh, two layers here put them like right over here and then recreate uh, a new title so we can choose the title 01 here and title effects and duplicate that by control D and then we will go into the title 2 and subscribe for more tutorials that is what you should do uh, if you haven't already but yeah we have another text here and go to the if title effects 2 and click on these two here with control selected the title one and then click on title 2 here in the project manager and if you hold alt and you drag it over your uh, title one uh, it's going to replace both of these uh, with the new text and that means if we go to the main comp it's uh, and we click on the title effects here and we replace it with the title effects too also holding alt and dragging it on top of this one uh, it's going to change that as well so now we have tutorial by Ines Alea it disappears and reveals subscribe for more tutorials so that's how you stack up more text effects um, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a like also subscribe to the channel to see more thank you so much for watching and also if you want to download the project file be sure to check out the description it will take you to the website and you can download this project file for free thank you so much for watching and goodbye